So this time around, we will be rigging this Mustang inside Blender with launch control. We'll be separating the body and finding the wheels. We'll talk about how to name these correctly to make them work with this one click rig. Then we will just click rig vehicle and there you go. Then you have animated a car inside Blender. Even if you're a beginner, you should be able to follow along and do these steps together with me. I'll go over three examples on how to do this with different kinds of models. So let's just get into it. So by now you probably tried out launch control with the included example cars inside the file, but it's also possible to use your own models or models that you've downloaded from the web. So the first thing you need to do for this tutorial is go grab a model. A suggestion from my side would be wirewheelsclub.com. They have a great selection of cars and they are all free to download. So I got this one Ford Mustang paid edition with the shaders. That's the one I'm showing how to rig today. This approach should work with any kind of car. You will be able to prepare it for launch control no matter where you got it from. There is one restriction, however, right now it can only rig four-wheeled cars. But it doesn't matter if, say, the back wheels or the rear tires are bigger than the front tires, that's okay. Launch Control will still be able to detect that and rig your car for you. So, first and foremost, we need five objects to be able to rig a car inside Launch Control. So we need a body and we need four wheels. That's it. If you have that, you can rig a car. So for this model here, let's start with the body. And you can see how this consists of a lot of different body parts. You could combine everything into one mesh, but it's usually not favorable to do that. So what we will do here is to jump to the side view and then just center our 3D cursor and create an empty with Shift A. And now we will just put the empty. It doesn't matter where the empty origin is, but I just kind of like to scale it so the car fits inside the box nicely. Next step is to take all the meshes that are not wheels and parent that to this box. So whatever is parented to this box or this empty will be the car body inside launch control. Now this model has very nicely laid out collections already. So let's just select the wheels collection and hit control I to invert our selection. And then deselect the floor and this and the camera. And this here should be everything that is our body. So let's just parent that control P to the box. And now you can see when we remove the box, everything's following along. If you want to simulate stuff like the antenna wobbling or whatever, this one I suppose is not able to wobble. But those things you can easily add. You just have to add an armature underneath this empty. Now let's just rename this to body, which is one of the accepted names from launch control. And let's focus on the wheels. So if we can hide this for now with shift click. So we have four wheels. This car, it doesn't show any brake caliber. So that makes our life easier because we don't have to worry about rigging those. If launch control finds brake calibers in your model, it will rig them. But if it cannot find any brake calibers, it will just skip that step. The next thing we would have to check is if your wheels have any camber or toe angle. So if you jump to the front view and you see that the tire is tilted like this or like this, it means that it has a positive camber or a negative camber. When rigging with launch control, camber is calculated after the rig is applied. That means that you have to straighten up the wheels if they have some pre-camber before you rig the car. Toe angle, on the other hand, is when the wheels I rotated a little bit towards the center of the car or away from the center of the car. Both of these angles you have to just make up for by say that you have a camera angle like this. You would have to manually go in and either reset the rotation so it's straight or manually just rotate it back to when it looks like it's straight. Let me just demonstrate what happens if you do not do this before rigging. That will not be pretty. So just make sure that your wheels are straight before you get any further. So now let's make sure that the tire mesh is called wheel. And it is. It even has the SL and SR and everything here, which will be read by launch control, including a lot of other front, left, back, right, and so on. So we wanted to use this outer tire and we want everything else to be parented to that. So let's just parent everything up to the tire because you always have to use the tire mesh as the wheel in launch control. That's how it detects the size of the tire. So let's parent all these up. Okay, you can see here we have a little problem because these are combined. So what we will have to do here is jump into um, edit mode and just split these two. And now we have still some parts here that are combined. So let's again split those and connect this to the tire. And you can also have sub children inside. That doesn't matter. As long as, as it's just parented to the tire, you'll be good to go. So let's do the last one here. And now we should see that we only have four um, objects here with children underneath. So we still have a problem with these wheels though. All the children are called wheels as well. And this will cause a problem when we try to rig it with launch control. But let's just see what happens so I can show you how to, how to detect this problem in the future. 
So let's try to just rig it now and we will get a pop-up that says found multiple objects that could be wheels. Please make sure one of these objects is named wheel underscore FR or similar. And then it will state for you which objects are the problem and it will select all of them. So you can see here, if you open up, you can see that it selected all these three. And that's basically saying that launch control isn't sure which of these three, this is four, which of these three is the wheel that it should rig because all of them are called wheels underscore FR with some extra stuff. So there are different things you can do. What I tend to do is just take all of these children, just select them, hit control F2, and just replace this wheels with whatever else you want. Let's just call it rim for now. And now you can see we don't have any wheels inside these children. So the only objects with the names wheels are the tires. So now let's try rigging the car and see if it works. And it does. It does give us one message though saying cannot find break RL will ignore break calibers for the rig. But that's okay. We don't need those anyway because this car doesn't have them. So now we can play back the animation and we can see that it's working exactly like we expected. One thing I have to mention quickly is that you should avoid ever pressing undo right after you rig your car. Because when you're going through the rigging process, Blender does some calculations that it cannot undo. Many times it will end up crashing Blender rather than undoing the step. But that's why I implemented the remove car rig button. So just click this button and it will remove all the launch control stuff and just put your car back into the center. And then you can continue from there on whatever you wanted to change. So if you're looking for cars and you still want to do one click rigging, you should check out transportation add-on because the cars in there have a nice hierarchy and it's totally compatible with launch control right out of the box. You just load in a blend file with a car and you click rig vehicle and launch control will take over and rig it with a launch control rig. So that is very simple, but otherwise check out the rest of the video to see how you can prepare other models to work with launch control. So another example can be a car that you downloaded from some website. I really like 3dsky.org but they are not rigged and they are not prepared for rigging as well as the car from wirewheelsclub.com. But let me just go ahead, take you through the entire process, importing the FBX and getting it set up and ready for launch control. So let's first import the model. I'll be using the Mini Cooper that I also worked with in an earlier tutorial. And as you can see, this one imports and it doesn't even exist in the center of the scene, but that's okay. We can rig it anyway. We actually don't have to put it in the center of the scene. So. The first thing you want to do is to find out where is the body, where are the wheels, and in this case, also the brake calibers, which are also included in this car. So let's jump to the side view again and just uh, add in a an empty that can serve as our body uh, holder. Good, 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 good. Here we will have to, you can see there are no nice collections. Uh, so here we would have to kind of select manually. Let's do some rough selection here and then remove the stuff we do not need so that there is not wheels. Okay, so I think we have separated the wheels here. Let's just check all the way around. Yes, let's put them in a collection called wheels. Let's turn it off for now and then just pair everything to this null. And let's call this one for body. So now let's turn off the body and just check the wheels. Let's call this one for body. And here we want to do the same thing as last time. We want to take the tire and parent everything to the tire. So let's go like that, like that, like that, and like that. Let's take the calibers. We can either combine the mesh. Sometimes you don't want these sub objects anyway, but let's just keep the sub objects and make this piece here the parent of everything. So let's do the same over here. Select all the objects and this one of being the parent. And here, and the reason why we have to do this with the calipers is because the wheels and the brake discs are spinning and turning, but the calipers are only turning. They are not spinning. That is perfect. And now um, we should be able to get this back. You can see now we have the caliber is called line.001. So let's just select all these called line and then rename them to uh, from line to brake, perfect. And then we have this wheel here, that's the front left. So you always check this from the back of the car, you go to the back of the car and then you say, okay, this is left and this is front. So that would be wheel front uh, left. This would be wheel uh, rear left. This would be 
wheel front right. And the last one would be wheel rear right. And let's do the same for the calibers. So that should be good. Now we have everything set up and it doesn't matter if it's rotated, it doesn't matter if it's over here, it doesn't matter. Launch control will still be able to rig it. So let's click rig vehicle. And there we go. So that worked out and we have the car moving along the path here. And we can do our little wobble around and all this good stuff. So one last example I just want to show you is that you can rig almost anything inside launch control. And it's really fun to play with RC cars. And I just want to show you how you can rig this pretty fast with, uh, with launch control. So first, let's take the body and just drop it down so it fits on top here. Let's take the wheels and separate them. So let's take this, 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 and this. And make a collection. And just hide the collection. Okay. Let's take everything and just parent it, maybe just to the green body because it's so easy to grab a hold of. And then this one can be called body. Now let's go to our wheels and see what we have in here. And now let's just parent this to here. Actually, here we might have a little problem because this is part of the tire as well, but it's not combined. So let's just combine these two um, to make sure we don't have any issues there. And this guy goes there. Okay. Shake, I forgot everything we did. Okay, now we have the tires and we just need to name them correctly. So let's call this one for tire front left, tire rear left, tire front right, and tire rear right. Okay, there we go. So we have the body and we have the four tires. For this one, we don't have any brake calibers anyway, so let's just ignore that. And let's just try by clicking brake vehicle. So let's try to play this back and you can see how this is a quite fast RC car. Uh, let's just head back and remove the car, Rick, because obviously something is wrong. So the reason for this is that now this small RC car is behaving like a huge road car, which doesn't really look so good. So what I did was just to multiply the scale by five to make it bigger and take my entire scene and scale it up by five. And then the physics mode worked much better and the defaults work much better. So that's what I will do. Just scale it up and click rig vehicle. And there we go. Now you can see how the UI also fits much better. And that's how you rig an RC car with launch control.